मैं या प्लीज गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग प्लीज टेक यू सीट थैंक यू सर यो वर्षा यस सर वर्षा क्या पसंद करेंगे आपसे हिंदी में बात करें या यू मोर कंफर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश सर मोर कंफर्टेबल इन इंग्लिश ओके सो वर्षा एज यू आर अवेयर दैट वी ट्राइंग टू टेक वट एवर प्रिकॉशंस पॉसिबल एज फार एज कोविड इज कंसर्न राइट and there is adequate distance between me and you uh, so that you feel safe yes, and also we are removing mask only when uh, we are speaking otherwise we are uh, wearing mask you also have this uh, opportunity if you want to uh, uh, remove mask and you feel comfortable yes, you can or if you are yes, more sir. comfortable with mask uh, no sir to. i'm comfortable now okay and uh, you are not showing any symptoms uh, yourself no, sir. right no. and you are comfortable yes sir okay then let's start i want you to introduce yourself to board members Yes, so my name is Varsha Gehlo. I belong to Jaipur district. I have done my graduation B Tech in Electronics and Communication from Modi University of Science and Technology. Uh, A Lakshman Gad seeker. And you did it in 2015. Yes, sir. Uh, you are unemployed for five years now. Uh, yes, sir. Why was your university and your education uh, inadequate to get you a job? so um I, when i had campus placements i did had job i did and uh, got placement in uh, two companies but i didn't join the companies i came for the preparation of civil services that was the reason then why you went for the btech at all so when i was in 12th so there was a even the social environment was like uh, we need to Yeah, to get a good career and to get a good, uh, if we want to have a good professional degree, we should either do like engineering or MBBS, so such degree. So, so hence for that, I took B Tech as my professional. When was the last time graduation. when you took a decision on your own? So when important I, decision, not really what yes, what will you eat and all. So when I came for this uh, preparation of civil services. But then it's a bandwagon. Everybody goes for it. So it's it cannot be independent decision. almost everybody goes so the uh, it was my decision to not join the uh, company in which i got placed and go for this uh, but that uh, that is hardly an independent decision that's what my question is independent of not just your family but independent of the bandwagon that goes around in, in the society any independent decision you can take pride on so uh, in after my college in entire life in so 25 years anything you believe that you took as important decision which you took on yourself which was not as per the social norms and you that shows that you are not essentially conformist so it was my decision after 10th to go for uh, the uh, take my science science as my subject any good student take science it's a social pressure so i can say that i was uh, according to the perception at that time as well as it was my decisions i was not that against for not taking science or not taking btech as my graduation okay uh, anyways you have done uh, electronics and communication engineering yes sir you are comfortable with uh, the entire engineering part or you want a specific area to uh, be discussed so like um tell me a very simple thing uh, silicon germanium both have valency 4 yes sir. and we use it at semiconductor yes, carbon sir. is also in the same bracket but we do not use carbon as semiconductor why sorry sir i won't be able to answer For a P-type semiconductor, what kind of what will be the doping material? Sorry, sir. In a IC engine, in a large large scale IC engine, is it the same as a microprocessor or a microprocessor in VLSI or IC are going to be different? So in uh, IC engineering, IC uh, integrated integrated circuit. circuits, yes, sir. Very large scale integrated circuit, yes, sir. And microprocessor, yes, sir. These are two same things, or uh, these are different things? So they are different things. what is the difference between a vlsi and a microprocessor so microprocessor uh, like in our college we study the microprocessor 8086 and uh, it it performs multiple task uh, so it is used and in you call it still uses 8086 to train uh, engineers yes sir we studied in a micro 8086 in 2020 so in uh, when we had the subject microprocessors micro We okay, tell me how, how do you do the biasing in 8086? So I'm not able to recall it right now. Have you seen the oscilloscope? 
I'm sure you have okay. oscilloscope that shows the waveforms. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tell me the terminals on the oscilloscope. Sorry, sir. So, Varsha. Yes, sir. Tell me about the uh, cryogenic engine. Cryogenic engine. Yes, sir. Sir, it is uh, cryogenic engine is the one which uses liquid nitrogen as its fuel. What is quantum dots? Quantum dots. Sorry, sir. Okay. What is Project Loon? Project Loon. Hmm. So Project Loon is a uh, initiative by Google. They will be having hot air balloon kind of uh, devices for which they will be providing internet services what are around the, that region. What are the objectives of Nano Mission in India? So Nano Mission uh, mainly focuses on the nanotechnology and uh, developing those nano devices for various functions. Tell me about a brief uh, information about the cloning process. Chlorine process. Sorry, sir. Okay. Vallabh Nagar is very important uh, in Udaipur region. Yes, Why sir. it is so important? So it's near the um, mining area. Okay. Ahar Sabbeta kya hai? So it's a copper stone civilization and uh, it was developed near the Tell Iron River. Tell me the other name of Ahar civilization. Other name. Ahar civilization. What is importance of yoga at the cellular level in the body? So yoga is a process which uh, so I'm not getting there. Okay. Sorry, sir. Natni ka chabutra kya hai? So Natni ka chabutra is a place uh, in between Bichola Lake, and uh, it was uh, built for. Uh, it was. It has a story behind it. That why it was built. Can I go forward with the story? No, sir? no, no. What is carbon nanotube, and how is differ from the carbon fiber? Sorry, sir. Okay, tell me about the uh, two lakes, two canals, origin from the uh, Jal Jal Samanchil. Yes, Manji. So one is the so rivers or canals. 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 Can artificial nadiya banai ja sakti hai? Yes, sir. Artificial nadiya banai ja sakti hai? Chaliye. Ye batayiye. Sir, Sarma. Sir, Sarma. Sahilyon ki badi ka naam Sahilyon ki badi kyon pada? Sorry, sir. Last batayiye ki bhens ki garba vasta gastration period kitna hota hai? Gastration period. No, sir. Okay. Bhens ek baar me kitne bache de sakti hai? Ek ya do? Sir, I can give two. Sir, please. Varsha. Yes, sir. You can tell me that if Varsha has been very low in a very low time, then what happens? In a small area. Yes, sir. Regions. Sir, floods. They occur floods. Okay. So, this urban flooding that we are seeing in many cities, what is the main reason for this? Sir, major reasons which can be counted for the urban flooding are one of the major reasons is the um, expansion of the cities which is taking place uh, without, I, I will say, unsustainable expansion of the cities. Like there are some, um, the concept of sponge cities that is not being taken care of during this expansion, like the storms, uh, drains, which you are You are from Udaipur. Have you ever had such an urban flooding in Udaipur? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When did it happen last time? Sir, last, uh, I will not be able to tell the exact year, but I will I can just uh, okay, get tell approximate me. was 2009 or 2010 around this time sir. Okay. Tell me what do you understand by technical recession? Technical recession. Sorry sir. Okay. Then uh, what do you understand by this term bank run? What is bank run? So bank run is when bank gets bankrupt. Right. Then uh, have we seen this uh, phenomena in recent times? Bank run. Hmm. So I can say of the NPA crisis which are uh, taking place in the uh, bank. Recently a bank failed in India. Can you name the bank? It's a PNB bank. That was... PNB bank has failed? No sir. No sir. It's not PNB. It, was, it got NP. It was under the NPA crisis. Right. Okay. Um, we hear a word very often these days. This term vaccine nationalism. Sometimes it is combined. Vaccine nationalism. What is this? So during the recent Corona crisis times. Each country is uh, trying to develop their vaccines for their um, citizens. What is wrong in that? So there is... Uh, there is nothing wrong in that? Like yes, sir. There is nothing wrong. But the thing is that uh, there are some countries which are developed nations. Then there are some which are developing and there are some which are underdeveloped. Hmm. So in that case, uh, this is a pandemic. And in developed countries, they, will, uh, they are having good technology. So they would be able to develop it much faster than... Uh, the other nations. Uh, you are not answering my question. I wanted to know what exactly is vaccine nationalism and why it is 
considered to be not right so because we are living presently we are living in a globalized world and if we cooperate even if we coordinate more then our there can be optimum utilization so it is of like a, every, na- for every nation for itself no there is no global cooperation as such yes sir okay can you tell me about this sir creek dispute sir creek yes, dispute yes, so sir creek dispute is between india and pakistan um sir creek is a place near the kutch uh, gujarat region and it is a mainly sir a ran a ran like area where so uh, to- when any such uh, maritime dispute is there yes. inland maritime dispute there is one principle a very well known principle that comes into play what is that so it is a so i'm not exactly remembering that principle but it also took place during uh, when india and bangladesh were having issues over okay. that one island my final question to you india reorganized the state of jammu and kashmir into two new uts last year and india came out with its new map yes okay so three countries protested one yes. was china one was second was pakistan and which was the third country and why Yes, sir. sir during the formation of uh, union territories of ladakh and kashmir yes so another country was china pakistan thank you sir okay varsha yes sir varsha varsha shabd ke hindi mein kuch paryayvachi shabd bataiye sir vrishti barish jo vrishti hai isme jo ri laga hua hai yes sir ये जब लिखा जाता है तो हिंदी वर्णमाला में किस जगह पर आता है सर वृष्टि वर्ड में वृष्टि वर्ड में एक री लगा हुआ हाँ। है री जब पूरा लिखा यहाँ तो मात्रा है जब पूरा लिखा जाता है तो पूरी हिंदी वर्णमाला में कहाँ आता है हिंदी वर्णमाला हिंदी की वर्णमाला याद है उसमें री कहाँ लिखा जाएगा सर इट इज रिटर्न इन द एंड एंड लास्ट में मतलब ह के बाद सर री इट्स फॉर री फॉर ऋषि यस दैट री यस यस वेयर विल इट बी पोजिशन बतानी है के बाद तो क्षा आता है नो पूरी वर्णमाला सुनाई कह से शुरू होगी वर्णमाला सॉरी सर अ आ ई उ ए आम अहन क ख ग च छ जण ट ठ ड ढण त थ द धन प फ ब भ म य र ल व श स स ह ठीक है वर्षा आपसे बात करके अच्छा लगा आपका इंटरव्यू समाप्त होता है आप जा सकती हैं थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सर टेक यू सीट वर्षा Thank you, sir. Yes, tell me. How was the interview? What are the areas you believe that you you are comfortable and where you need to improve? Yes, I need to improve a lot. I I thought so. Okay. I think so. And uh, are you able to? Uh, are you in position to identify the areas you need to improve? Yes, sir. Okay. Definitely. So my um, that engineering thing was I I couldn't brush it off right now. So See, that's the last degree you have uh, written here. Yes. So it makes sense to brush it up because uh, See, you need to understand the uh, the dilemma of the board members. They don't know anything about you. Yes, so sir. they they need something to crack the conversation. And for that the best thing is about your education and for the best last thing is your last degree is the most important thing. Yes. So usually uh, one should uh, uh, brush up the last back- background subject uh, as good as possible. Yes. Sir. See, uh, Varsha, you're a good candidate. Uh, your personality is good. Your um, in general your appearance is good, entry is good. The sitting posture by and large is okay. By and large I'm saying because uh, you have this tendency of clasping your hands clasping hand is always uh, a no no when it comes to interview because it kind of show the nervousness and the the kind of things that's going on in your mind so okay, uh, placing your hands like this is the best way and besides uh, not only the clasping thing you also have this tendency of having uh, a lot of hand movement uh, hand okay, movement okay. Uh, moving your hands yes, moving sir. your hands is again a problem because it uh, indicates that the candidate uh, is short of words and which is trying to supplement uh, the conversation with the cool. uh, hand movements so ha- okay. least hand movement is something we always prescribe okay, okay. so you can work on that yes uh, otherwise sitting posture is good voice level in general is good um, eye contact is also good and uh, flow is not that bad 
right so that by the verbal communication thing is okay though i still believe that uh, when you were speaking hindi you were more comfortable i don't know why you chose uh, english as your uh, medium but uh, there despite having an english medium you may have to appear in hindi so that, be ready for that okay, okay sir. and i think uh, you're ready for that actually uh, you, you're insisting for english thing is uh, uh, something i'm not yet very comfortable at but then okay. it's your decision right okay sir. you can work on that on uh, the specifics uh, you also have this tendency of giving long preface to your answer right your answer should be crisp to the point my gold standard is that i always tell candidate that uh, please understand the intention of the board member and make sure that you hit the intention of the board member in first sentence okay okay, okay sir at most uh, the late most in the second sentence but first sentence is the ideal thing okay. you have this tendency of giving a little preface to your answers you okay. can avoid that okay. right yeah. now you also uh, need to understand that uh, the communication here is a formal communication and unfortunately unequal formal communication right it's not oh, we are oh. not unfortunately the equal uh, yes, uh, contributors in this communication so it means that you should always allow board members to interrupt you oh. but you cannot interrupt a board member that's a basic uh, golden rule okay so you have this tendency that even when the board member interrupt you want to finish your uh, stuff right okay. you can avoid that you can stop stop the movement board member speak even if you have very important thing to speak just let the board member finish okay. that will be good right uh, other things uh, generally uh, okay generally okay Okay, yes, so, uh, so you can brush up uh, your um, electronics things as much as you can. Yes, sir. All the best. Thank you, sir.